Morris Technologies in Cincinnati, Ohio is a product development company and contract manufacturer that has invested dramatically in additive manufacturing. In under 10 years, this company has added 20 direct metal laser sintering machines. These are machines that make parts not with a mold, not with a tool, but by building up the material layer by layer. Morris has extensive CNC machining capability, but additive manufacturing is where this company sees the greatest opportunity. We're here to talk to Greg Morris, the CEO of Morris Technologies. Greg, why is additive manufacturing significant? What does it allow manufacturers to do? Uh, great question. Additive manufacturing really is changing the entire landscape of how certain parts, not every part, but certain parts are going to be manufactured in the future allows a manufacturer to engage in uh, designs, perhaps, and, uh, and create IP that otherwise they may not uh, have been able to do without having this technology available to them. Was there an aha moment for you, a moment you realized this was the technology to invest in? Uh, indeed, there was a, a pretty good aha moment for us when uh, about two years into having the original technology, uh, the first generation technology in our facility, uh, we realized that we were able to produce very complex geometries in a fraction of the time it might normally take to get them done conventionally. Uh, the uh, result of that was we were able to service our customers much better uh, with some of their complex design and offer up value that uh, was previously not available to us. How are you innovating with this technology? How are you taking additive manufacturing to a different level? You know, uh, there's, there's a couple ways that we're innovating with this technology. I would, I would suggest that we're innovating with this technology internally with our R&D efforts that we put into it uh, and externally with our customers. So if I'll speak to the internal innovations, uh, we actually take this technology and we make certain modifications uh, to the equipment uh, that it, it gives an enhancement to the properties of the materials that we produce. Uh, we also have a very large R&D department and we are innovating with regard to alloy development uh, and furthering uh, the knowledge base, frankly, on the mechanical properties that we get from many of these alloys out of the machine. Uh, with regard to our customer innovations, we're, we're very intimate with our customers in designing to the process. And that is probably the biggest win that you can see from this technology, is that you have customers that are able to take what this technology does, design to the process, and create components and product that otherwise they would not be able to make in a traditional manufacturing methodology. Morris has a lot of CNC machine tools. Is additive manufacturing a competitor to machining? No, uh, additive manufacturing is a complementary technology to CNC uh, or traditional manufacturing methodologies. Uh, quite honestly, uh, traditional manufacturing technologies are absolutely essential to be a part of uh, additive manufacturing. I don't see that going away at all. In fact, I see the most power uh, behind additive manufacturing is when you complement it with the traditional capabilities, whether that's wire EDM or EDM of any sort, CNC machining, milling, turning, grinding, all of these technologies really ought to be combined to fully realize the best capability of the technology. Why is it important for companies to be thinking about additive manufacturing right now? I think if companies uh, aren't thinking about additive manufacturing that they're probably going to miss uh, within their industries or within their niche, they will probably miss an opportunity uh, to, to join in what we would consider to be a disruptive technology. So very much like EDM probably was maybe 20 or 30 years ago, uh, EDM technologies have transformed the way many parts have been made or are made today. They, they've made efficiency gains and, and they've been a better way of creating certain geometries. The same thing with additive manufacturing. And this technology is at the very beginning uh, of what we see as being a, a future expansion uh, of this technology in particular, but additive manufacturing in general. Greg, I've heard you say we're at the tip of the iceberg with additive manufacturing. What do you mean by that? It, we are at the very beginning. Additive manufacturing itself really was, uh, as a term, has been coined probably more so in the past five years. With additive metals, whether it's direct metal laser centering or electron beam manufacturing or a variety of others, uh, these technologies really only came onto the scene probably about seven or eight years ago 
uh, and there is tremendous innovation happening within our industry right now. So, uh, whereas today we have a limited build envelope and we have a limited number of alloys and a limited amount of speed that we can apply to parts, meaning how fast they build and the efficiency at which they build, we expect that in the next three to five years we will see a tremendous increase uh, in all three of those items. Uh, we will see more alloys produced more efficiently and we'll see these uh, this technology become ubiquitous in a, a tremendous number of industries, not just the traditional aerospace and medical industries, but we will see many industries take hold of this technology, apply the technology in a very unique way, and perhaps even create tremendous amounts of additional IP uh, that companies will be able to leverage going forward.